while 48 percent of the 5 billion naira is to be paid back on an installment basis within a period of two years, 20 months, to the CBN by the states and the local government areas. Okay, okay, all right, my people, we welcome you back to Top Notch Gist Entertainment where we bring you the latest happening. Now, the federal government, the Bala Blue Administrative are at it again, showcasing a new strategy of looting from the pores of CBN, invariably adding to the debt we are already in. Ever since the 25th of February election, Nigerians have been consigned facing one or two from this administrative. I would like you to stay to the end of this. What the administrative have to say about how they want to subdue the effects of the fuel remover the fuel subsidy remover this video will make you to confirm that this administrative only have their own interest at heart don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel so that youtube will recommend our video welcome you back to top knowledge entertainment where we bring you the latest happening both nigeria and the world at, world at large if you have not yet subscribed to this channel please do well to click the subscription button and the bell icon so that youtube will recommend our video and whenever we upload a new video youtube will notify you the major problem that we have here in nigeria is our governments only have their own interests at heart whatever that is happening in the country don't really concerns them we only hear on news everywhere that nigeria has already borrowed another amount of money but we are not actually seeing where all this money are being implemented it baffles me what it baffles me at times what the foreigners will be thinking of Nigeria whenever they hear huge amounts of money that are being said on TV, on news every day, and they will see that this country is actually backsliding. There's nothing moving in the country. Our educational sector is down, our economy is going down, even the authenticity of Bola Ahmed Tinubu being the president of Nigeria as elected president of Nigeria has not yet been confirmed and people are already clamoring for a better Nigeria and you will see in this video where governor of Bonu state stated how the money being collected should be shared throughout the state and what the money should be implemented for and how they are going to and the particular percentage of the money to be returned back to the post of Nigeria through the CPN. you will see we are made mention of a huge amount sum of money we are at the end of the day we are not going to see where it's being going to where it's going to be implemented we have on million dollars loan now another 500 billion era pack where he said that Bola Amej Tunubu said there are particular things they are going to use the money for and out of all the money that is said to be shared in in each state that's five billion era to be shared in it to be given to each each state hundred thousand bags of rice will be shared to each state forty thousand bags of maize and fertilizer and out of all this we know that this is their operation let the poor bits is not going to work instead of it to work is going to be choking us you know you know ever since uh the election in 25th of february has and and after the election as a um Bola Amen Tunubu, which is the president of Nigeria, has been uh, announced as the president. People have been uh, people have been in, in in dilemma, saying that Bola Amen Tunubu is not in any way a president. We don't want Bola Amen Tunubu as a president. Whereas they say that Peter Obi is the choice of the people, and we actually know that Peter Obi is the choice of the people. Check this video, and you see the major things, the, the where and how this money wants to be shared. And at the end of the day, I believe personally that this money are not going to be shared, and not going to be shared equally and properly. Has met and has expressed serious concerns as regards increasing cost of food items, increasing cost of transportation, amongst others, as a result of subsidy removal. In order to cushion the effect of the subsidy removal, the federal government of Nigeria has released five trucks of rice to each state last week. Furthermore, in order to cushion the effect of food shortages across the country, the federal government has approved the sum of five billion naira to be given to each state for the procurement of 100,000 bags of rice 100,000 bags of rice, 40,000 bags of maize, and fertilizers. Uh, this funding has to be shared with the formula as follows. 52% of this money is given to states as grants 
while 48 percent of the 5 billion naira is to be paid back on an installment basis within a period of two years 20 months to the cbn by the states and the local government areas in nigeria the council has commended the effort of the federal government under the leadership of president Tenubu, as well as the cbn and we have also commended the efforts of NEMA in cushioning the effect of the subsidy removal. Council has taken bold decision in order to ensure speedy release of grants and other items in order to cushion the effect of subsidy removal to the less privileged in the society. Council has also take not taken note of the 800 million US dollars loan and should be strictly used for its intended purpose and based on accurate and acceptable register. The 800 million announced by the President will go to Nigerians in accordance with an accurate social register. Furthermore, Council has also noted the package that was announced by President in order to cushion the effect of the subsidy removal amounting to about 500 billion naira. And this fund has to be distributed to the following sectors, MSMEs, Industrial sector, cash transfer, about 125 billion naira will go to cash transfer. Agricultural sector as well as gas expansion for buses. Because of the increasing cost of fossil fuel, the federal government has intended to establish more gas stations in Nigeria, procure more gas powered buses, CNG buses, as well as electric buses in order to cushion the effect of the subsidy removal. Furthermore, NEMA will also liaise with states to distribute food stamps to the people immediately, especially those that are affecting uh, the frontline states that are bordering the Niger Republic because of influx of refugees. The council has also taxed the state to dialogue with the labor union's leadership committee made up of a number of state governors, NGF chairman, uh, uh, and others have been nominated to interfere with the level. Uh, the most important thing that the council has taken note is that all these palliatives that are being mentioned now are temporary solutions. Council has decided to invest on medium and longer term sustainable solutions that will ensure availability of food and non-food food items in Nigeria, especially investing in commercial agriculture and also investing in irrigated agriculture. NEC is calling on Nigerians and indeed labor to become law abiding as the president is determined to address the issues at hand. Thank you very much. Checking from this video, you know that the Tinubu administrative do not have Nigerian best interest at heart because you will see before the removal of fuel subsidy, a TV presenter once said that before the removal of subsidy, there are some set of things that should be put in place before the removal of subsidy because the effect on people which is high cost of living. So to mitigate this effect, the basic things that are supposed to be set before the fuel, fuel subsidy removal supposed to have been done before removing the fuel subsidy because so after then people will be able to understand and be able to you know accommodate all the effects that are coming with the fuel subsidy removal and people will be able to go back to their day-to-day -day activity and live well and do whatever they need to do under the administrative so with this video you will know that the federal government at first do not have best interest of people at heart and still 
until now they still don't have the best interest of the people at heart because at the end of the day the money that's supposed to be returned back to the ports of nigeria through cbn are not going to be returned and at the end of the day the debts will be added to the ones that nigeria is already owing i think from this video you would have been able to say that the nigerian government don't actually have the interest the nigerian government don't have the interest you can share your thoughts in the comment section do not forget to like our videos share our videos click the bell icon so that when we upload a new video youtube will duly and kindly notify you and do not forget to subscribe to our channel thank you see you when next